What's poppin' family? It's the one and only, your friend, your homie, Juice Wayne. <laughs> uh, throat kinda hurt right now, so I couldn't get too loud, you feel me? But, how y'all doing? Y'all good? This is officially my first video of 2022. Happy New Year's to everybody. Hope y'all have a good New Year's. Safe Christmas. And now, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's get to it. First video of the year. Pot of paper behind bars. Y'all ask for more potter? More potter you should receive, you feel me? Now, I ain't forget, before we get to this bars, what I need you to do is like the video, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the channel. And you enjoy this potter ride. So, uh, yeah, let me shut up. Stop wasting your time. Let's get to it. It's a nice beat. This show is exactly what Potter is bringing, man. Behind bars. He is just beating me over the head. Bars at the bars at the bars, you feel me? Hey, man. Cuz going, cuz, well, I ain't gonna say he going through a lot, cuz this is like an eight year old video. He went through a lot. Man. He lost a lot of people, man. Shit, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. I don't want to touch too. I don't want to touch too much on these uh, depressing bars, but they real bars, man. Kind of remind me of the other video I did a while ago. I just posted it though, but I did it a while ago. Dappy, when uh, his dad died, I, that that like that. He said one bar. Um, he'll never forget. I'll never forget the taste of of trying to save the man of the house. Like that still. That's man. That's still a crazy bar to me, bro. But uh, yeah, that doesn't mean I'd be a downer. Let's get back to it. If I ever lick a hundred, I'll get fifty to my nine. Hey, is um let me know because some of this lingo I'm not privy on, I'm not up, I'm not I don't know what the fuck you talking about. So when he say nine, is that like his mom, his grandmother, or did he say man? He gonna give something. I thought he gonna give fifty to his man. So unless he just that cool, but I feel like that's like his mom or something like that. And then uh yeah, it's kind of ironic how I mentioned how Dappy dad died, and then Potter come in with uh he had a he grew up without a dad. 
basically. And then, uh, how many times do went to jail? Cause like I noticed on my very first um, the KB and Potter reaction, uh, y'all was telling me that it's cool that I'm getting into Potter now. The fact that he just got out. So like, was he? I mean, a lot of rappers get locked up multiple times. So I'm guessing he was locked up back then. Got out, you know, went back to his rap and shit and got locked up again. That's what I'm I'm getting from this. But uh yeah man, I like this really just giving me a a full a better view into what made him the man he is today. And like I said, man, it's a tough upbringing. And like he said, dude really grew up in the streets slinging uh I guess coke. <laughs> I guess coke. I don't want to just uh guess what drugs he was selling, but yeah. Potter is a real dude, man. Real dude. It's sad that a lot of us, me, myself included, grew up without a father figure. But I'll say this. I had a, a loving grandfather who I love to this day. Yeah, he was my dad. He is my dad. You feel me? So, yeah. I know my mom knows I'm addicted to them roads. Trap out two weeks sleeping in my clothes. Nothing like champagne raids and bezies. I was more like cocaine fiends and jessies. I was 18 years old before I saw my first 20. Youth worker used to tell me I get dead before 20. I can tell you about Joe, my years that are done. And I can tell you about my block. I've been on it from young. And I can tell you what happened when that trade thing spun. But loose lips sink ships, and I ain't that dumb. I don't play them games. Tell a fair rather dead before I say them names. Fam, I've been about it. Talk about bare food, cause I've been around it. Never bummy, but I'm scummy. G, I used to burgle houses. There's a Never bummy, but I'm scummy, G. I used to burgle houses. Loose lips, sink sips. So I guess, um, basically, in that, within that bar, he just saying that he never snitched on his crew or the block that he was rapping. And I guess that's why he did some of the time that he's mentioned in the past. But yeah, man, dude, legit. He's through and through, grew up in the streets. Uh, I respect that. He's owning it. I mean... What can you say other than Potter is a real one? That's all I can say, man. Potter is a real one. And I, I, I like, I, I love how I can, like, I love how he's breaking these bars down and vividly painting the picture of him on the block. When, like he said, when he was a youngin, I'm truly understanding who this dude is. And I'm pretty sure there's way more to him than just the streets, too. So, yeah, I'm loving this Potter journey. Let me shut up and get back to it, y'all. Some OGs was consigning me to ounces. Wet man ran me, I'd be feeling like I'm drowning. Family really went there with the browning. And me and next man really went there with the dotty. Nick me for a book, I'm a G on my block. Got an awesome body. I don't know what it's for, baby, but they got TV. Got a boss. Bang. Hey, yo, hey. I mean, y'all heard it. I said it repeatedly. I'm loving this Potter uh, trip, this Potter tour that I'm on right now. And this behind bars is dope as hell. It's really giving me a better insight of who he was, what made him. He lost people, did time, but yeah, he's still here. You feel me? And from what I'm hearing, I don't. I haven't seen anything recent of his because I want to see his old stuff leading up to you know kind of like a movie you want to see the the first one leading up to the uh where they at now so yeah I'm loving this let me know in the comments below what y'all want me to check out next from Potter we made this far stay blessed never stress I love y'all juice out